So ever since I last checked in with you guys, my monkey money count has actually been going down. So I thought let me try and salvage it by trying to pop the golden balloon. So the golden balloon is basically an event that happens every few days per week. And this golden balloon that I currently have on the intermediate maps is on crack, which I think is an actually a good map to try and do this. So let's see how many golden balloons we can pop and if there is actually any point in trying to do this. So for those of you that don't know how the golden balloon works, let me give you guys a quick rundown. You're going to get a single golden balloon on one map out of each difficulty. And obviously the difference is the higher the difficulty, the more uh, monkey money the golden balloon is going to award you. Now golden balloons inside of a game, they appear once every 10 rounds starting from round 21. So you're going to get one golden balloon around 21 to 30. And it's actually random. You don't know when it's going to happen. You just know that the range is going to be 21 to 30, right? And so the next one is going to be 31 to 40 and then 41 to 50 and so on. And actually the more that these golden balloons start coming out, the more difficult they become to pop. They get a lot of extra HP, but they also gain a lot of extra properties. So that's why there's a little bit of an issue in defending them in the first place. And if you compare the rewards uh, to monkey teams, actually golden balloons do give a lot more rewards in comparison. Okay, now how do you pop golden balloons? Well, knowing that they're going to start appearing, there's a chance actually for the first one to appear starting from round 21. We need to get ready for this thing. And the way that you pop these guys, the most reliable and probably the easiest way to pop them uh, is going to be by using an ice tower. And that's why I said the cracked is an amazing map because look at these bends, guys. We can just have an ice tower like this. And then you need to have the first ice tower as a at least a 0 uh, 1 2 so that it can permanently hold in place because the first golden balloon has no immunities. But starting from the second one, the immunities actually start stacking up. So you're going to need camel detection for the second one on this ice. And then you're going to need an MIB village because it's going to be a lead balloon. And so there's a lot of stuff that you kind of need to think about. And also you kind of need to be ready with all these uh, with these immunities. So let's see if we're going to get it. No. Okay. So we didn't get it around 21. So the way that you want to be popping this thing is obviously by using an ice tower because it's going to be holding in place forever. But you do want to be careful about some stuff. Like for example, you don't want to have your other towers attacking while the golden balloon is frozen because if you start attacking with other stuff, it's going to start bouncing around. It's going to start jumping around and you're going to miss it. And here it comes. This is the first one. So it's 28. And then it's not going to be able to pop the lead balloons. Actually, even Sol is not able to pop the lead balloons. So let me just use the ability like this. The ability should be enough versus these leads. And then the ice should be able to. Yes, there we go. So we only got three. And that might not sound like a lot, but we have seven left to go. And starting from 60, the reward is going to get doubled. So yeah, this thing should should get interesting if we're able to pop all of them. And it's round 37, and we still haven't gotten the second one. Are we going to get it on 38? Because it's only half three rounds remaining and it's not gonna be a 38 either okay so this is gonna be a super late one and this can actually help you or it can be a little bit of an issue because if you don't have the money or you don't have the setup then getting a late golden blue is probably gonna help you out right but uh, here's the problem if we pop this guy and then we get the next golden balloon like immediately after, like let's say around 41 or something like that, then that's actually going to be a huge problem because we're going to need an MIB village for it. And is Yakim is going to be enough? Yes. And look at this thing. Okay, so this one has camel. And because we have the village, we are going to be able to pop it and hold it in place. But hopefully the Pierce doesn't get overloaded on the ice tower. We have to kind of start thinking about that one as well. And there we go. We popped it. So here's what I want to do. I actually can buy another marketplace, but I don't want to do it because we might. Uh, let me just upgrade the alchemist to like 320 and i want to save the remainder of the cash because if the golden balloon appears on like 41 or something like that then we're probably going to need to uh to sell some of these farms so that we can buy the mib village actually looking at this i just need the mob to pop from the auto attacks and if it does oh no it's not popping is it gonna pop from the auto attacks i really need this alchemist to pop the mob with the auto attacks so that we can snipe the ceramics this is not working out is it let me just buy like a sniper like this and then boom, we saw that. There we go. Okay, so it's actually really lucky that we didn't get the golden balloon right now because the money is... We do have the money if we can sell some farms, but I don't want to do that. So yeah, this is a little bit of a gamble. And you guys can see what the problem is with this thing is that even though it gives a lot of cash when you pop all of them, especially on expert maps, this is just probably not doable on all of them. It's around 47 and we still haven't gotten the third one. Are we going to get it 48? No, we're still not getting it. So this might actually be a little bit of an issue because if we get it on 49, that round is a huge round it actually has a bunch of blues incoming uh, it has a bunch of ceramics and then green balloons and rainbows so that might be actually the first round to which this guy's pierce might get overloaded so instead of buying the farm i'm actually get the, I'm gonna get the arctic wind now okay round 49 still no golden balloon this is actually crazy so that means that it's guaranteed to appear around 50 and you know what might happen we might get the next one around 51 because that's when the uh um, the, that's the the 10 round range for the next one right so we're gonna get one of these guys we're gonna get the this is actually the third one only and which we're getting around, uh, yeah, it's round 50. And look at this thing. So this one has lead, uh, lead properties. You guys see that? 
I don't think you can actually see it, but yeah, it's a lead bloom basically. And so because this uh, bottom pad ice cannot, this 032 ice cannot pop lead blooms, uh, this, that means that we essentially need to buy the MIB village. So uh, let me just actually give this thing a little bit more attack speed. There we go, we popped it. It's $3 that we got. So, so far we have plus nine monkey money. I mean, listen, I'm not complaining. Okay, so here it comes. This is the fourth one. This is a camo lead and i actually don't even know what's the other properties that this thing has but when you get to these oh no that's a lot of balloons let me just get the snowstorm okay that's a lot of balloons so it might have actually oh look at this thing you guys see where it is i think that it actually made it a little bit further just because the pierce got overloaded on the arctic wind okay so you have to be really careful with stuff like that but there we go there we go that's the last one and now the reward for these guys is actually gonna start increasing and we also need to need to improve our defenses a little bit so i'm gonna go for the top hat shark i'm gonna merge these guys up as much as possible and let's go for something like the megalodon it should be fun there's only thing that i'm praying for this next one and it is that it doesn't come out around 63 because 63 is gonna have these huge waves and i'm not sure if maybe if the pierce gets overloaded or something like that i merged up these uh, these sharks so we have the uh, the max powered shark currently so it can one shot these mob class balloons and uh, yeah i'm just saving up money to maybe invest a little bit into the central markets and stuff like that so we're gonna have around 63 in a second by the way so i really do hope it doesn't come out on this one actually and yes that's very nice so would we have been able to hold all these guys let's just watch the pierce on this ice tower i think the answer is no by the way yes exactly if any of these balloons are leaking you know that the pierce is getting overloaded and if we had gotten the gold balloon onto this round then that would have probably meant that we would have not been able to pop it and here comes the other one i don't think you guys can see it yeah there you go you guys see that thingy yeah, so this one is actually fortified. It's a fortified lead. I don't even know what it has in it, but when you get to these stronger ones, they actually start getting some properties that are not even visible. So they get something like purple immunity. They have something like, oh, it just popped. And I don't think that we were able to see, but uh, it was $6, if I'm not mistaken, starting from the 60s. So the reward does get increased, and this is valid for all difficulties. But I guess the cool thing about this is that once you get the setup going, like this is the setup basically. It's a zero, currently we have a 042 ice and just a 230 villain and actually even a 030 might be enough uh, and that's about it so you basically get this setup like maybe in like the the 40s or stuff, or stuff like that and after you've gotten this setup you are set for the entire game you can also give it a little bit of extra pierce you can upgrade it to the to the middle cross path or whatever you want to do but that's the the idea behind it. that's the main setup right and look at this one now this one is super early this is around 72 the hp on this thing should be at like I don't know, maybe like 20 HP or something like that. But the ice is dying kind of fast. Maybe we should help out the ice with the attack speed. Uh, can we even see how much money we're going to make from this one? Oh, it's actually escaping. No, let me freeze everything. It's actually escaping because of the peers getting overloaded. You guys see that? We need to do something about this. Because if this thing leaks, I maybe we want to buy like one more stunning station or something like that. Because if it, if it reaches this portion... It's just gonna bounce around, I think. So maybe, let me just sell this ice. Oh yeah, we popped it, okay, that's fine. That was $6, by the way. Oh wow, so we might actually be having a little bit of an issue with these golden blues. So let me upgrade to the absolute zero, I guess, so we can get the extra peers. And hopefully we don't leak the next one. So round 81, are we gonna get a golden blue that's gonna spawn like a, around the stars with the one? I don't wanna use Solid's ability to clean these guys out, by the way. So I'm just gonna let the ice do its thingy. And no, we're not getting lucky. Okay, so let me upgrade the orca like this. And this is going to make this one a little bit stronger and we do have a bunch of cash actually but i don't want to sell these guys yet so let me just make a little bit of cash to these guys and let's see if the defense is enough because we've been paying so much attention to the golden balloon and our defenses are i wouldn't say that they're weak because this is actually like a really nice map for the uh, for the beast handler and we are making money but it's been mainly the solid show so far and Charlie 84 and you guys can't see it but we do have a golden balloon <laughs> beneath everything there's a lot of balloons happening on screen at once so i'm just going to use solid abilities right here and you know this the small golden balloon is getting frozen it's being kept here because there are no small balloons so that means that we don't have a pierce issue it's just that you can't see what's going on with this thing and honestly i might even use this thing like the ice ability just to give it oh it bombed there it went i wanted to just give the ice a little bit of extra attack speed by using the absolute zero but yeah we got this one and we got lucky now that it, it appeared on this specific round because there are no small balloons so that meant that the ice tower can just deal with it, no problem right but let's actually go back to our original plan of defending this so we want to buy the megalodons and and I actually do have the money, so I'm just gonna buy it like like this. I'm gonna buy it right now. And let's just start one shotting these balloons. We have the the giant shark, and I'm just thinking, what else do we want to do? And uh, I don't know what would you guys buy if you were in my spot? Like maybe these usual, you know, stunning and slowing towers. So maybe we can get something like 
like this thing, the Relentless Go. Alone. Once you buy the Megalodon, I don't exactly think you're gonna need that many more things to defend. So I'm actually gonna sell the last remaining farm and I'm gonna buy an Overclock and I'm gonna use this Overclock onto the Ice so it deals with uh, with the Golden Balloon a little bit faster. So let me use Sala's level 10 ability to wipe everything and it's round 94 and we don't get the next Golden Balloon yet. So I have a feeling that the game is gonna do a round 95 on us. Round 95 is basically a bunch of a bunch of small balloons and again I'm just worried about the Pierce getting overloaded but I feel like once that we have the absolute zero it shouldn't be an issue and look at this shark go oh my god look at this shark go it's evaporating these rounds by itself that's a lot of damage and that was that was the entirety of 94 but i don't see the golden blue yet which is actually kind of a nice sign so i guess let's see how the shark is going to deal with the dts i mean it obviously doesn't pull a bunch of dts by itself but when it it pulls one and then with the thrashing damage it's just oh yeah oh yeah look at that aoe damage it just collapsed everyone this thing does so much damage it's actually kind of i don't think it's difficult to buy this thing in gym smoke it's probably not even that simple to be honest because it's like 100k but uh once you get this thing, I mean, come on, I've forgotten how, how strong this tower is. And you know, as much as I enjoy watching this shark destroy all these balloons, I really hope that it doesn't do AoE damage so it messes up the golden balloon. It does a little bit of damage and then it kind of, I, I know, it kind of bounces away or something like that. So uh, yeah, let me just use Sala's ability and here it comes. So this is the last one and here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give this thing a little attack speed. I'm going to use the ability and let's just clap this thing as fast as possible. This thing has 27 HP, I think. And let's just watch how much money it's going to make. We have one more absolute zero and it's going to pop any second now. And it's six. Yes. So we, we managed to pop every single golden balloon and we're going to end the game in three rounds. So as soon as this thing ends... Uh, we are going to see how much money we've made. So uh, yeah, let's just let's just watch this shark go to town in like the next 30 seconds and just destroy everything by itself. And then it's gonna wash out the bat, obviously, which is probably one of my favorite things because not that many towers can wash out bats actually. So let me use Sans ability to wipe these small balloons. Round 99, the DTs again, not even a, a slightest issue. And then let me use Sans ability for this. Let me use Sans level 10 ability to wipe these guys. And then this is gonna be round 100. And yes, the shark is just going to, uh, it's gonna take it away as soon as it sees it. Yes, there we go. And let's see what's the instant that we got to 101 Ace. And actually, this is the part that I'm most uh, most interested in, and that's how much money we've made for, off of these gold balloons. And that is, we popped all eight of them. That's 36. And when you compare it to the rewards, it, this is not actually 132. It's actually 120. But we get a 10% bonus from a monkey knowledge point that we got. So actually, 36 out of 120 is a really nice reward. I'm gonna be honest. This is a lot more than monkey teams. But uh, yeah, this is this is golden balloons. It's actually a really good way in comparison to monkey teams of making money. It's just that are you gonna be able to pop all of them and then was the difficulty in the map that you're playing on but yeah that's gonna be it for this one hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one